Shelving files in Perforce Helix Core allows users to store edits they have made in a change list without actually submitting these changes to the stream they are working in. Additionally, because shelved changes are submitted to the Perforce Helix Core server, they can be accessed by other users as well. You can think of shelving files in the same way as working with a change list that you intend to submit to the depot stream. You can check files out, edit them, and they appear in one of your change lists. Then, instead of submitting this change list, you can shelve it instead. This change list is now stored safely on the depot and can be unshelved by you or other team members at will, at which point the changes can be applied to the project in your local workspace. Why would you need to shelve files for virtual production? Let's imagine that you are an artist working with an environment in Unreal Engine, and you are making a lot of changes that affect a variety of different assets and blueprints. You are halfway through your work when you get an urgent request from another team member to fix a few specific things that are causing them problems. The only problem is that these same assets you need to fix are things you have already edited for your current in-progress task. In this case, you can shelve your current work, return to the previous version of the project that your team member is working with, fix the issues, and submit. Think of it as storing your current work on a shelf so that you can take a break, restore an earlier version of the project in the stream, and then retrieve it later. Once this urgent task is finished, you can unshelve these files and get back to work. Having these in-progress assets safely stored on the server ensures that you won't accidentally lose any progress. This previous example discusses using shelving for personal purposes, but it can also be used collaboratively. Now imagine you are an art supervisor who is in charge of reviewing work that other team members have done before it can be approved and merged. One option would be to review their work and fix any issues yourself and then submit. The problem here is that you would have to very carefully study the work they have been doing in order to ensure there are no issues. After all, they may have been working on this task for a week and you have only been reviewing it for a few hours. It's easy to miss something in this case. Additionally, you want your artist to be able to learn from your changes and suggestions. Fixing it for them won't give them a chance to see the right way to do things. Instead, you can make your suggested edits and then shelve them as a change list. The artists you are working with can then unshelve this change list in their workspace and review the changes. They can see exactly what changes you suggest, examine them, and test them to ensure they don't create any unintended issues. They can do final testing and submission of the changes, freeing up your time to review the work of other team members. Shelving files in P4V is very simple, and it is done in a very similar way to submitting a pending change list. In fact, shelving is an alternative to submitting a change list. After a change list is created, you can choose to either submit it to send it to the depot, revert it to remove all files from the change list as well as remove the checkout flag and restore them to the latest version on the depot, or shelve it. Just like submitting files, you can right-click on either an entire change list or individual files contained within it, and then instead of choosing Submit, choose Shelf. This will launch the shelving pop-up in P4V. In the pop-up, you can choose specific files to shelve using the check boxes in the window below. Keep in mind that it is best to try to anticipate the fact that you are going to shelve files and separate them into a new numbered change list beforehand using the methods described in the last course section. If you've done this ahead of time, you can simply select the entire change list instead of individually picking through files. Once the files you intend to shelve are selected, you have a few options at the bottom of the window. In general, you want to leave these checkboxes at the default settings, meaning that any shelled files will be reverted after you submit your change list for shelving. You can, however, uncheck this box if you are still working on the files from this change list and you are not ready to revert them. When you revert files in a shelved change list, it will restore them to the latest version of the files on the depot, 
and afterwards the shelved changes will exist only in your shelved change list and can be unshelved at will. When shelving a change list, you will need to enter a change list description in just the same way as submitting a change list. Remember, make it detailed so you and other team members will know exactly what it contains. Once the change list is shelved, it will appear in your pending change list window with a blue triangle, with a folder icon in the upper left corner, meaning that it contains shelved files. If you want to unshelve these files and bring them back into the project in your workspace, you can do this by right-clicking on the shelved change list and selecting Unshelve Files. This will launch a pop-up that allows you to specify which files to unshelve, although generally, if the shelved change list was created correctly, you will just use the default options here and unshelve everything. There are situations in which you may want to only select specific files to unshelf, like if some of them have been updated by other team members in the meantime since the changes were shelved and you don't want to create any conflicts with these changes. Once a change list is unshelved, you'll see the triangle become red and the files will be automatically checked out. Once again, the unshelved change list now exists as a standard change list and it can be reshelved or submitted as normal.